Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookwire, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookwire. Back in September, I started a new diet called the Carnivore Diet, and I've lost 70 pounds since then. I lost probably 60-something pounds the first three months. It's been an amazing diet and an amazing journey. And if you've watched my video on my health update and also the carnivore diet before and after, you kind of know a little bit what has went on in my life. And I have reaped some great benefits from the carnivore diet. I was in a lot of severe pain, inflammation, high blood pressure, tons of issues. If you want to watch the video on the before and after, check out the video. I will leave a link in the video description and maybe there'll be a card pop up here at the top of the screen as well. You can click on if you're curious. Me and my wife about once a month, sometimes twice a month, we will go out to the movies and watch a movie together. And I thought, okay, popcorn's not so bad. If we're only gonna do it once a month, we can maybe eat a little popcorn once a month. So the first month we bought one of those big buckets that you, you know, go back and refill for X amount of dollars, a little bit cheaper. We shared a bucket of popcorn, no problems at all. I thought, okay, you know, this is not, this is cheating a little, but not terrible. So after the new year, we had to buy a new bucket. So we got a bucket a piece. So we went out to the movies and we had a bucket of popcorn a piece. Not a big deal, not any issues. A little bit of popcorn, you know, things are fine. So we went back to the movies again the next month. So we had both of our little buckets of popcorn. We got our popcorn filled up. We're doing great. And my wife said, it's not going to hurt if we have a little bit of sweets. So we got a couple little packets, one of the chocolate covered raisins, which I've always loved. And we got another little, little bag of these, uh, it's peanuts and they're molded in a chocolate brownie type of thing. But I think I ate four or five of them things, which was not a good idea. I ate a couple of handfuls of those chocolate covered raisins. <laughs> they were good, but I didn't really crave them. It was just the moment of being at the movies and, you know, we're eating movie food, we're watching the movie, we're enjoying ourselves. You know, I wasn't craving it. It didn't really taste that great. It was just something to throw in your mouth while you're watching the movie. The next day, I was feeling horrible. It was so bad that I almost called in an emergency PTO day to be off. I woke up the next morning, I had hot flashes. I had stomach cramps. I thought if I could just throw up, I'd feel better. I thought, no, I gotta go to work. I was bad, I was, I was almost late to work because I was so bad. So I got to work and I got to moving around. I think I burned off some of that sugar and that glucose that got built up in my system that my body wasn't used to having. Not to mention the chocolate and the raisins and the peanuts and all the other stuff, the sugar and the other things. I was sick and I was down all day long. I got better during the day after I got to moving around. The next day I was a little better, but I was sluggish. I just didn't feel like myself. I, didn't, I felt like I was coming down with something. And then the next day, I guess when all of that food finally got digested and got ready, I had a terrible time. I'm not going to go into any details, but I'm just telling you, I had a terrible, terrible experience at the end of that three-day road. And it took me about three or four more days to feel like I was at 100% again. And I'm just going to tell you right now, cheating on the diet is not worth it. I'm thinking, I feel great right now. I mean, I don't want to mess this up. This is awesome. This is the most awesome diet that I've ever been on in my life. And I'm not even going to call it a diet anymore. It's not the carnivore diet. It's a lifestyle. Because it has changed my life and it's given me new, new strength. It's given me new desire to, to get out and live life again. Because I was at the point where I was ready to just to give up. And I'm so thankful that I found this diet. And to mess it up just by... Spending 30 minutes or an hour of just thinking, oh, this is so good, I'll pay for it later, but it's okay, I'm enjoying it. There was not enough enjoyment to pay the price that I had to pay. If it was the best thing I ever put in my mouth, it's not worth 
being sick and suffering for three days in a row and then being sluggish for another three or four days after that just ain't worth it. I'm just going to tell you, if you're struggling with cheating and you're struggling with the carnivore diet or the keto diet or the ketovore diet, if you're kind of in the, in the middle, put aside the cheating, you'll be happier in the end because you always pay when you cheat, just like I did, and I paid royally. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little bit of a rant and I hope that you get some encouragement, especially if you're on a specific diet and you're trying to stick to it and you're, you're having cravings and you're worried about sticking to it, just stick to it. Hang in there. You can do it. And you'll reap the benefits if you hang in there and stick to it. And on the other hand, if you do cheat and you do mess up, there's still a way to come back and there's still a way to recover. You just might suffer a few days before you get back on top again. But don't just quit. Keep going. Keep hanging in there. And uh, I'm rooting for you. And I thank everyone that has rooted for me and that has given me encouragement. Because my life has changed and I'm so thankful. I hope that you've enjoyed this little video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I promise I'll keep more coming. I also want to thank everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going. And I just want to say thank you so very much. And thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Psalms chapter 117, verse 1 and 2, it says, Praise you the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you people. For His merciful kindness is great toward us. And the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Praise you the Lord. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.